Welcome back guys to another video in this video we are starting WWE 2k18 my career and I'm gonna give you guys a little heads up I already played basically through the my career till WrestleMania where you where's your first WrestleMania and you fight two people uh, unless you choose a different option, I think, or unless something random happens in your story. But I fought two people at WrestleMania, so I do know what's going to happen. But I will choose different options. I will go specifically for this character. Now, in this episode, sort of like a backstory episode and uh, one performance center thing. Um, basically, this game is brand new, as you can tell. Damn, I'm recording this is release day. I don't know where this video is coming out, but... We got Clyde's son. I still haven't figured out how to pronounce it, just like I didn't know how to pronounce Clyde at first. I'm gonna say Caesar, Caesar, like Scissor, maybe Scissor. I don't know, Caesar, Scissor, whatever you like. Clyde, like you could pronounce uh, Clyde, like Claude, Claude, Clyde, whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter. You get the point. He's a high fly. He's way different than Clyde. Clyde was nice. He was respectful. This man is a dirty heel. He doesn't like the fans. He just hates the fans and loves the management, the authority, the people in control. And I know, like at points, Scissor could turn heel. He could, I mean, he's already heel, but he could turn face, you know? Anything can happen. He's rude. He's disrespectful to other people. To the management, though, he's their favorite. At least for now, he is. So, I think we should jump into this, but let me just discuss. Let me just discuss everything, okay? Basically, Clyde, his ma not last match, but his last match for 2K17 was at WrestleMania for WWE. And he beat Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. And that was the last we saw of Clyde in a WWE. And don't worry, he pre eventually returned. I was going to do Clyde for this, as you could tell in the first episode I recorded of me making Clyde. Which should probably be uploaded around the same time as this. Oh, Caesar, I was creating Caesar, but I put Clyde, but I realized it was really hard to make Clyde. I didn't want some Clyde lookalike like stealing his spot. You know, I want Clyde to be legit if I were to create him. So I'm gonna try to get a f the face scan from last year and put it on my man. But I don't know how I'm gonna do that. So if you do know how to get a face scan from 2K17, please tell me. So I could create your boy Clyde and put him up on like CC or something. But other than that, as you can tell I'm on PlayStation 4. I love Xbox more at this point. But I got this game for PlayStation 4. Why not? So we, we have some interesting stuff here. I'm gonna upgrade my attributes. Now I want this man to be pretty strong in reversals. So I'm gonna place about like ooh. I'm gonna place like 15 there because that gives me a th three reversals. Yeah, three reversals. Speed. Move my speed up a little. Cause you know, I'm a high flyer. Um, my striking to my uh, my technique. Oh wait. I might actually do athletics, athleticism, and then there we go, I think, so I'm going to upgrade, because I am a high fly, wait, how much money does it cost? Oh, it's free. Okay. I right, 15 more. Okay. Uh, reversal's obviously a main focus in this series. So I'm going to put a lot on reversals. Speed, a lot going there. I'm going to put three there, two there, and one on toughness. So, oh, that costs a lot of money. Okay. And I'm going to open loot crates with the... Did not cost any money? Okay, so I'm open like a loot crate or two. Then we're going to get into the episode. I still have yet to finish the back series though. So Clyde, last match in WWE won, uh, 
WWE Championship. He went off on his merry way. He was happy. He won the belt. He quit with the belt. He didn't quit, but he got fired. But, you know, it was a scripted program, okay? Um, and then, oh, is everything free? Oh, no. Okay. Well, Clyde was, you know, enjoying his life. He was finally taking a break from being a WWE wrestler, from taking flights every day. And doing all that stuff, it's busy, you know, it's hard work. You you get not much sleep at all because you also have to show at live events. You have to fight mostly every day. And you always have to be prepared for the fights. So Clyde had not much sleep at all, so he was happy, he was relieved. And then obviously, he found someone. He had a kid. Not gonna go into the details. And then he trained that kid to become the very best wrestler, someone he couldn't be, the best in the world. And he got him a tryout at the Performance Center, because obviously his relationship with the WWE was really high. He was making, uh, he had a legend contract, he was making appearances, he was doing all that stuff. By the way, you probably haven't saw last of Clyde, okay? This is a story for Caesar. Clyde will probably show up in 2K18 as his normal man. But for now, in this career mode, he's retired. He's gotten older. And he now he raised Caesar to be the very best wrestler in the world. He trained with Daniel Bryan. Even though it was a little bit less with Daniel Bryan, but he did. Train with himself. He traded him with Triple H. He traded him surprisingly. He got CM Punk to help train him. And all and all together we have Caesar. He's a high flyer, he's a risk taker, and he risks it all inside that ring to win. He may not be the best just yet, but we'll see how he turns out at the end of the series. And by the way, the series is not ending at 50 episodes, that's lame. Maybe like 100, 150, because last year started in March. End it, like, J July, uh, August, no, September. August, yeah, is the last episode. That was June. Oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Because 2K18 was rapidly coming up, and I was getting a little bit bored of it. It's repetitive. Unlike this mode, it isn't repetitive. I played through it. I played the 2020. WrestleMania 2020. I played for this game for two years in game time. If you do count this first year, it's... If you don't, it's one year, but you get the point. I played. It's really fun. It's addicting. I was addicted. I finished it in two days. <laughs> I didn't finish. You can keep on playing. Keep on playing. Now, obviously, I will go back to my character. As you can see, I'm on the character screen. I don't have any other my plays because I want the money at the start. And I didn't want to use my money for my other dude. So, let's get into the performance center. Uh, invasion. Okay. Alright. Uh, no, I don't have any friends. Nah, nah. I don't have any friends. <laughs> so, basically, this is a trial. He's been waiting. He's been waiting years for this. And there's going to be a website, a uh, part on the website for Clyde for Caesar. And it's going to be the backstory that I literally just said on there. So, I will update maybe that tonight, tomorrow, whenever. But it will be updated eventually and probably will be in the link of the next few episodes. And I'm excited for this series, man. I'll be completely honest with you. Because it's going to be way longer. It's going to be way funner. But here comes Razor, dude. He's seeing, he's seeing this performance center for the first time. And he sees the rock in that legendary ring that he's about to fight in. He's going to be fighting a worthy opponent, too. So, Razor, Betty Ruby, Ray, no, it's Razor, no. This is, yeah, Razor. Oh, wait, it's Razor. Yeah, it's Razor. Yeah, it's Razor. Oh, look at that Razor ring in his hair. 
But he got the Mojo Volley things. Just made them all black so you can't see the volley. But. I have a feeling this will be a fun, fun, fun series. Yeah, especially with like the free cam and stuff. Not that I can do much with that. Because that does take lots of time and editing. And also, I'm not going to make a big sob story about this. But I am sorry for not uploading a lot in the recent weeks. I'm sorry for all that. There's nothing I could say. I'm just busy because I have schoolwork. And I, I think I said this in a video. Or I just f did it. It's not like I make money from this. It's if I don't make money from it, I have to focus on school and stuff. Until if I make money off of it, then I can get a job off YouTube. I don't like. I'm not saying school is never the main, f not not the main focus, but obviously right now I'm focusing on school because obviously YouTube isn't a production source for me. You get what I mean there? Thank you. If you don't, then please, like, go to school because you obviously need it. Um, I'm sorry. That was rude. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, good luck out there tonight. Bro, I'm wrestling right in front of you. You're going to see the legend. The legend, me. You're going to see me right wrestling right in front of you in that very ring right there. Right here is where I'm going to be wrestling in, like, two minutes. But we got your boy uh, Ty, your boy Ty Dillinger. By the way, yes, this was inspired for Chris Dunker. Um, or Chris Dunker. Um, yeah, Max and Chris, same thing, you know. Okay, I never talked to this man before. Who, who, who is this? Uh, I'm not familiar with the new NXT dudes. I don't watch NXT. Who are you, Shane? No, that's not Shane Thorn. Is it? Oh, it is. I oh, whoop to do. I'm gonna be reading the subtitles, but here it's a little bit pointless. Okay, let, let, this, this man. I am. I am. I am gracious to be standing in your glorious presence. Please give me tips. Like Razor is nervous, dude. He is nervous for this. He doesn't know how it's gonna go. His. Oh, nice swagger, newbie. Oh, you'll know when I'm swaggering. Oh, crap. This is smack talk from Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode not introducing me to himself, you know? But we got your boy Matt Bloom over here. Finally, the hottest free agent in all of sports entertainment right here in front of me. Great to have you here. I'm Matt Bloom. Call me Matadoo. Thank you, Matt. Amazing to be here. His mouth is not even moving. Glad you just had to shine, shine, shine with the WWE. A lot of room for a guy like you on the roster. You've seen what AJ and Shinsuke Nakamura has done with the opportunity, I'm sure. Yes, they're a true inspiration. I'll do what they did, but better. No, I'm actually unfamiliar. Now, if you don't know, Razor was a huge fan of Shinsuke and AJ. Is. He is. Of course, they inspired me how with how they rocketed it into the WWE. And you and a whole lot of people. What I mean to say is I think you can do the same. Up to you, obviously. Bust your butt every day, do what I tell you, and you got the opportunity. Ain't no better place than this. Believe that. <laughs> Back when I started wrestling, if you want a part of wrestling school, you could even get the opportunity to come to WWE. Here, we got people all over the world, different backgrounds, from different aspects of sports, like some crossover, transitioning. Happy to be part of this new legacy. Overall, what I want from you is to see a good character. I want to see you working harder to get better all of the time. It's been a while since your last match. If you didn't know, Razor was in the indie scene. But once his father said he was going to get in, he's going to try to get him in with the WWE, which was probably six months from when this took place. So probably around, um, uh, what's it called? April? He stopped working on indie scene, started training really hard for these six months, and here he is. True enough. Gonna always keep your focus on the mission at hand, so now introductions behind us. Gotta get rid of that ring rust and evaluate you. 
We'll see where you're at. I'm putting you against one of our seasoned vets. No honeymoon, huh? You want one? It'd be nice. No lie, it'd be nice. Tough. Hop on up. Time to get down to action. That was a great exchange right there from Appaloom and Razor. It's your first time speaking in real life. They spoke over the phone, obviously, but you... They, they never saw each other in real life. Oh, the, his first match is starting. Oh, Ty Dillinger already strong with the suplex. Razor reverses though, flips right over the back of Dillinger in a huge missile drop kick. Oh, what is Razor going for here? Oh, arm drag from the ground. The referee make a huge reflection. It must be really sunny in here. Caesar sunny, sending Ty Dillinger towards the rope. He gets a little bit cocky. He gets a little bit cocky, but is that going to be a downfall? It's going to be a downfall for Caesar. Now Ty Dillinger with the beautiful kicks and maneuvers to the arms of uh, Razor. I'm still getting used to the name. I'm sorry. I keep saying Razor. It's, Sa it's Caesar. I'm going to just say Scissor. Oh, Scissor with the reversal. And now, I don't... Oh, Dillinger. Oh, Dillinger's taking advantage here. Oh, but he misses. The huge kick misses and now huge clothesline. Dillinger is out for the count. Caesar telling, telling Ty, get up, you perfect ten. I'm a oh, oh, uh, Caesar just botched. Okay. Oh, Caesar just screwed up on that, on that huge dive, and now Ty Dillinger taking advantage of the man. That's not a nice thing to do, Dillinger. But multiple kicks to the freaking legs of Dillinger. And now Caesar going to the top rope. He's getting ready. He's hyping up. No crowd. But he, he he's sh mocking. He's cracking. <laughs> he's cracking. Caesar's checking his watch. He needs to see what time it is. He's once again hyping up the invisible crowd. But oh my god, it cost him again. Cost him again. But no, this time he's able to capitalize off of Ty Dillinger's slowness and capitalizing off of his mistake. And now, oh, Caesar going after huge. Oh, that was beautiful. Now he, oh my gosh, that was a beautiful move. Perfected. Oh, Dillinger though, just no cells in, kicks out at one. Ooh, oh, no, he's mocking. He's mocking and crocking. Huge Herkavana. This man is talented. See all these flips he's doing within his first few minutes inside of a WWE ring. Oh, these multiple, just large splashes. Now he's crocking again on the middle rope. Dillinger seems to actually be out here. He seems to maybe have underestimated Scissor. I think he underestimated. He didn't know how talented this man is. Oh, oh my God! The silencer, the silencer. Now Caesar, telling Ty Dillinger, get up now. He walk. He walks up to Dillinger. Tries for the finisher. Now Dillinger reverses. Dillinger reverses, and now he's just missing the kicks. Oh, what is Dillinger? Oh my god, neckbreaker. Huge neckbreaker. Oh, I think I know what Dillinger's going for. Dillinger! Dillinger! What is Caesar gonna do? What is Caesar gonna do? Caesar! 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 Will Caesar break out? Will Caesar be the next? Oh! He just kicked that at one. Todd Dillinger does not believe his eyes. He does not believe what he's hearing from the ref. He's probably pissed off right now. But he's going for the perfect 10. I don't know what it's called, actually. Oh, Caesar reverses, though. Caesar reversed. A perfect 
can. But no, Ty Dillon's just still able to take advantage of Caesar. Now he's doing putting a huge hold on him now. Caesar was not able to really capitalize off of that mistake. Oh, but now Caesar. Caesar looks to be trying to break free. Looks like he broke free. What's he going for now? Oh my god, another silencer. Another silencer. And now Caesar's telling Todd Dillinger to get up again. And now he's he's mocking. He's mocking. He's mocking and crocking. Oh. Oh my god, beauty. Beauty in the winds. That's not even a good name. It's not, it's improv right there. But he knocked out Dillinger. Beauty in the winds. The wind beauty. The cl uh, Clydenator. I think it, I'm thinking I'm gonna call that the Clydeplex. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just saying now this series is gonna be cringy because I don't know. Name of the finishers, signatures, etc, etc. I might have like a piece of paper though. I might write up a piece of paper with all that stuff down so I will know it. I made sure to keep active outside the ring. It shows. Now listen. I know where you came from, but they don't cut that many promos. Barely at all, honestly. Hardly worth mentioning. Now is the best time to practice. I want to see what you got on that end. Go over there to the promo area and cut up promo. Look at your expectations. Show me you. So it looks like Caesar's about to cut an excellent promo here. Here right now, right now. He's loading screens. God, man, I swear. So Razor's getting into the ring. It cut a promo. This man's a trash talker. He should know how to do this. Uh, I know that. Confident, angry, and casual. Topics for every on promo type. Mic drop right now. This is a takeover. It's WWE's prime for the plundering, and I'm gonna take a 12 at all. I'm not satisfied with giving scraps to, oh, look at the feast I gave you. That's gaslighting. That offends me and disgusts me. So instead, I'm going to take full control. There has been a lot of people throwing up walls in my life. A lot. My opponents told me I couldn't make it this far. The WWE, that this... This was the extent of my ability. I don't accept the audacity. No one but me can define what I can or cannot do. No one gets, but me gets to shape my life, my career. Getting here has been a challenge. I'm glad for it though, because all of those struggles forged me into the person who could take everyone out. My scars have vent my history throughout my body. I'm not ashamed of that. In fact, I'm proud of the blood, sweat, and tears I've shed to stand here today in the WWE. The worst thing I endured are those friends I trusted and loved, who chose to stab me in the back with the words, "You won't make it there. What happened to loyalty? I would have had their backs to the gate of hell and out the other side. I'll forgive them for hurting me, but I will never forget. Once it's all said and done, the whole of the WWE years will remember me sitting tall in the ring like my father with the WWE Championship. The aftermath of my revival will remain long after I disappear into history, but that's a far distant future. Right now, it's the current. I'm focused only on winning and dominating here in the WWE. Oh, Razor! Oh, God, getting cocky with those ropes! I should save the ropes! 
God, I swear you just hit the ropes more than you hit Dillinger. Why do I have a certain ring for promos? Why is he walking out the garage door? Is there two rings? Why did he say get like to the promo ring? <laughs> did he? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't pay attention. Why would I do that? I swear my mic was off this entire time. I would have been so mad. Okay, so now I have to speak with Map Bloom. A man of many words. Wow, that was impressive. As natural as I ever seen. Real honesty to your promo. If you ever keep honing the edge, the WWE Universe is going to dig it. Dusty would be proud. I feel larger than life. Now I'm imagining myself on every television up on a Titan Tron. Stage presence is one of those nebulous things you cannot teach, right? Well, at least. Are you saying I have that? Definitely. Like, you have an ease to the way you present yourself. There's some rough edges, sure, but that's nothing polished won't take care of. Perfect. I'm ready for whatever's next. That, take it easy for the rest of the day. Get to know people around you. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. So, folks, that was the second episode of my career. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Maybe it's the first. I don't know if I'll upload the customization. But I pre yeah, I probably will. If you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure to leave that thumbs up, that subscribe. I'd appreciate it really much. If this video... And I know this is impossible, but that's exactly why I'm doing it. If this video gets 20 likes... Then I'll make Clyde in 2018. <laughs> I mean, 2K18. Let's see if we didn't do it. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm only doing a let go because I don't have to do it. Because it's difficult. It's going to take time for me. I want you guys to actually interested in it. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Peace.